Hello, welcome to a Brawl modding tutorial. You could call this uh, Introduction to Hex, or you could call it uh, Models from Other Games Part 1. Let's get this started off really quick. You'll need these three files, one of them being Wii Scrubber. Wii Scrubber allows you to rip out information from uh, Wii ISOs for the disk. This file is uh, X HXD, in which will allow us to edit the hexadecimal components. You'll see what I mean by that later. And this is the FPK extractor. And this is to extract .fpk compressed files. And some Wii ISOs use that compression. And WinRAR and WinZip do not use that. They can't open that, so you'll need your own special one. When you have those downloaded, uh, you'll just need to Navigate to where you have your HXD, where you have your um, Wii Scrubber. And when you get Wii Scrubber, uh, you need to click on Make Key Bin. Double click on that and follow the instructions. It's probably just like OK or whatever. And do that. And then I think you need to double click on this and run that, otherwise it won't work. These set up the things that you need. And so, once you have that, the XXD, the Wii Scrubber, and the FPK Extractor, which is right here. For the FPK Extractor, you're going to need to put that in the folder where you'll be extracting your FPK files. Simple. So, to get this started, find something that we actually can hex. We're going to have to open up Wii Scrubber. So once you have the make key bin, key 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 key, so we'll open up this, 1.4, load ISO. Now I can't tell you where to get Wii ISOs, but you know, the internet's nice and stuff. So not every game uses .mdl0 model format and that's the format that we need to have and because as we all know brawl uses .mdl0 so we can't go putting in other things games that do are animal crossing city folk um, i think mario kart wii uses it but Mario Kart Wii has .arc uh, compression, but we'll be focusing on FPK this time. But you just need to get a dot .arc extractor. I believe Mario Party 8, Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games, and at the normal Olympic Games. Um, New Super Mario Bros. Wii uses it. Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles uses it. Resident Evil 4 does not. And this is what we're going to be focusing on. Tatsunoku vs. Capcom Ultimate All-Stars. And if you don't have this game, I'd suggest buying it. It's worth buying. I personally own it, yes. So, now just remember that this is going to, it's going to look like this basically for any game you open. So you don't need to feel obligated to get this exact game. Even though I suggest it, it's a great game. So open the partition. And what you'll find is a lot of games look exactly the same on the inside once you rip them open. Uh, you'll just need to click on these pluses until you find certain files, and it should be fairly obvious if you've ever played the games you're opening. For Tatsunoku, we open FPAC, we go to CHR, or character, and these are all the characters in the game. For the purposes of the following tutorials that will continue in this, we're going to be doing Frank West as you may know from Dead Rising. So open that up, or whatever character you're doing from a different game, or even any other character you want. It does not matter. Right click on it, extract, put it somewhere where you can, um, where your FPK extractor is also. And you don't need to rename it, but because I already have it, and I've been working on it for a while, I should. So I'm gonna rename it Frank, <clears throat> Frank sorry. And make sure that you uh, save it as the same file type because it saves as type 
all, so make sure that you save it as .fpk. And saving it as a different file type does not work. You can't save it as a zip and then just unzip it. So save. And we can now, we're now done with a wee scrubber. So go to where you have your frank.fpk or whatever else. Double click FPK extractor, it'll run the script and you shall get a folder, frank underscore FPK. Open this and each, each one of these looks exactly the same. Go to chr, frank, and these are dot .brres files. You know what those are. So if we open this up, we got raw box with 3D model palettes, textures, and animation text. So if we click here, it's going to crash. Why this is? This is because uh, each .mdl o zero, sorry, file for each game is coded differently. So we're going to have to fix that through the help of hex. Put this in your test folder. I got to rename it first. Name it, rename it to whatever you want, and you don't need any of the other ones. Don't worry about that. Move it to test, or whatever you are putting it in. And now this is the cool part. For people who don't know what hexadecimal is, this is the part where we start learning. Don't worry, we're not actually going to be changing anything in this one. This is all theory and setup. So once you open hxd, you're just going to need to either file open and navigate to here, or just drag what you're editing into here. And all these crazy numbers pop up. This column cannot be edited. It's a reference. Same with these row. Hexadecimal is a counting system where instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E. F. And so A is actually 10. So if you want to write 10, you would just put A. So it goes 0, 0, and then 1, 0 is not actually 10. You might think, what's the difference between A and 10? 10 is actually 15, I guess. Or 17, or whatever. So B is 11, C is 12. It might take a while for you to figure it out, but. Don't worry, it's pretty simple. Hexadecimal is arranged in eight numbers in two groups. So 62, 72, 65, 73. That's one hexadecimal group, 00 to 03. Then we have 04 to 07, 08 to B, C to F. And this goes all the way down. And as you can see, this is a huge file consisting of over a lot. <laughs> And over here, this is a something interpretation of it. And you don't need to know what this means. I don't know what it means. But it will be handy in reference later. So when you want to select something and delete it, you can't just delete things willy-nilly because it actually changes the file size. And if you ever take away, you must put back. So if you take away 4, you have to put back 4. That's an important rule. Hexadecimal is uh, a lot different than decimal. So 1 plus 1 equals 2, but 10 plus A would be 1A, which is actually this number right here. So 10 plus, and another thing, whenever you write a hexadecimal number, it's always in this length. And if it's ever uh, just like 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, you write uh, 0x0, and then the numbers after that would be actual numbers. So you never actually write the entire thing unless it's actually that long. So I hope you understood this tutorial. Hexadecimal is kind of confusing. I know 